and welcome back to Flappe Academy. If you have been following us, then we know that by now you must be having a fair idea of what dog types look like. If not, do follow the link in the description for the video where we explain the basics of ERP Next. In today's video, we will add some more details to our customer feedback dog type that we created in the last video. We are going to see how the naming works for each dog type, how we can fetch data from other documents, the dashboard, the interdependence of fields, how we create child tables, permissions for a dog type, list view in a dog type, timelines and finally we will also be customizing a standard dog type in the system. So let's get started. We are going to start by adding a naming series to all the records in this dog type. Once you are done with adding a few fields, you can scroll down to the next section. In the naming section, you can choose what you want to name each of your documents within this doc type. As given in the description, you can select the pattern for naming the records. The same can be defined in the ways given below. This way, every time a new customer feedback is created, it will have its own unique ID in the format I set up now. I am going to add the naming series using the last option in the following way. I will do this in such a way that the naming series shows the month of the year. This way I can follow the monthly performance feedback from my company. If the auto name option is left blank, the system will add a unique hash or ID to the document once generated. Now I also want each of the records to be identifiable with the name of the customer that gave this feedback. So. We go to view settings. Here, we can select a title field for the document. I'm going to set that as customer, such that the title gets fetched from the customer field. So now, once I have saved any customer feedback, the unique code and the name are going to look like this. Now that we have defined the names under each record, there is another field that I want to add in here. At Flappy Furniture, I have an account manager assigned to each customer. Let's call them AM. Every time a customer sends their feedback, the assigned AM should be tagged in here. So, I will add a field for this, which is going to be a link field type. In the customer document, we select the AMs from the user list. So, while adding the field, I will add user in the options, so that a new field in the customer feedback doc type also pulls in the names from the user list. Next, in the fetch from option, I will add customer.account underscore manager. Here, customer is the field name that we use to fetch the data from, while account manager is the field name for the source field inside the customer doc type. I will also make this field read only, such that no changes are possible. Let me create a new customer feedback and check this. My customer is Tranquil Hotels and the AM assigned to them is John Pereira. The moment I add the customer name, John's name will be automatically tagged as the AM. Next, we will move on to customizing the dashboard for each document. Now, you must have observed that for a lot of doc types in ERP Next, there are links in the dashboard. And for any custom doc type that you create, you may want to add a few links. For that, we scroll right to the bottom of the doc type, the links table. I want each of my feedback to be associated with the task. I will also add a field in the task doc type using customized form. We will show how to do that in a bit. Now, in the links table, I will add task as the link doc type. The field in the task doc type that is linked to the customer feedback will become the link field name here. Now, when I create and save a new customer feedback, I can link those two tasks as well. Whenever I add a new task, from the dashboard, it gets linked to the customer feedback automatically. We can also see the number of tasks associated with each customer feedback. Next, I am going to add a few more fields here. I will add a section that will ask users to check all the unsatisfactory services during the transaction. I will add a field under each of these services called Reason and add a dependency such that it appears only when the respective service is said to be unsatisfactory by the customer. I will also make these fields mandatory by adding a mandatory condition. For example, 
A customer says that they found the staff friendliness and the delivery unsatisfactory. The respective reason fields will pop up as soon as they check these boxes and the customer will not be able to save the feedback without adding the reason. I like how configurable ERP Next is to all my requirements. Moving on, I want to add a table here that will ask the customer the details of their order. So, the first thing I do here is creating a new doc type called Customer Feedback Order Details. There is a property that will create this doc type as a table. I will add the fields here. A link field type for items ordered, a select field type that will ask the customer how they place the order, the options being online, on phone or in person. The last field would be the payment mode. Again a select field with options being advanced cash payment, advanced online payment, cash on delivery or online payment on delivery. Make sure that you make all these fields visible in the table grid view by enabling this option. Next, I am going to link the table doc type to the customer feedback doc type. First, I will add a section break field type under date such that a new section would be created herein. Next, I will add a new field with the field type table. Under options, I will add the name of the new doc type, customer feedback order details. Now, when I create a new customer feedback, I will have the table where I can add feedback details. Next, we come down to permissions. Here, we can define the permissions for the different kinds of roles in the system to write, create or delete a record in the system. Here, since the doc type is not submittable, the submit and cancel permissions are disabled. The system manager has all the other permissions for this doc type. I will add read and write permissions for the project's user role because tasks are going to be assigned to users with this row. Now that we have configured a lot of things in this doc type, we will go to the list view. We see that in the customer feedback list, we can only see customer and the rating. For any other field to be visible in the list view, I will have to enable this option for that field. So if I also want the account manager to be visible in the list view, I will enable this option. In fact, I can also configure the filters through which I can search the records within this doc type. So, all the feedback pointers that we created checkboxes for, we will add a filter to them. We can do that by simply enabling the is standard filter checkbox in the respective fields. Now, when we see the list, we can see account managers as well as the filters for all the feedback pointers. Next. We go to a concept called timeline in the document which is basically this section at the end of every document. Now, I want to be in track of every change that is done in a customer feedback record. I will go to the doc type and enable track changes. There are also options like track scene and track views. The system will add a comment on the timeline every time a new person sees the document. Further, in the timeline field under view settings, we can add customers such that any communication that happens on the timeline of the customer feedback will also be tracked in the timeline of its customer document. Along with that, we will also allow events to be created from the timeline such that a to-do or an event can be created from within here itself. Okay, now that we have completely understood the creation of a doc type, I am also going to show you how an existing doc type can be customized. One would assume that using the doc type list, they will be able to make changes to the existing doc types as well, though that is not the case. To customize a standard doc type, you will have to go to the customize form. You can either search it from the awesome bar or go to the document list and click on the customize option from the menu. Now. Remember we added a custom field to the task doc type? Let's see how I did that. Here, we can link tasks to certain customer issues. The same way, we will add a link field below the issue field called customer feedback, which will be linked to the customer feedback doc type. Now, each time a task will be created via a customer feedback, the same will be linked inside the task document. Similarly, I want to add a couple of fields to my item document. Now, 
Under the description, I will add another section called Dimensions via a section break field type. Under this, we will add length, breadth, width and weight fields that can be defined under integer field type. We update this and the same will be visible in the item document. Perfect! Now we know that in ERP Next, we can also customize the standard documents to our preference. Similarly, you can change the field names or the properties of the fields inside each doc type. But remember, there will always be some standard fields that you won't be able to alter. We hope that this video will help you understand the doc types and field types in more depth and you will now be able to further customize your doc types in ERP Next. Do have a look at the user manual for some more in-depth info about customizing ERP Next. Let us know your thoughts on the video in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we release new videos.